The pen modifier in geometry mode allows you to draw out your own brushes or create your own brush shape actor. Now a brush shape actor is something we'll actually discuss a little bit later, so for now we'll just focus on the brush drawing aspects of it. It does require that you work in an orthographic view, so I'm going to slide my little horizontal splitter bar down so we can just see the top view, and we'll switch over to the pen modifier. There's a couple of settings here. We have auto extrude, which is if the shape that you create needs to automatically be extruded into a brush. If you don't have this checked, then you're technically not creating a brush at that point in which case you're probably wanting to create a brush shape. So uh, generally you want to have one or the other of these two checkboxes set. Now a brush shape is going to be a special actor used in lathing. So we won't talk about that until we get to the lathe modifier. We can choose to create convex polygons. If you have this checked, uh, basically an optimization is going to be run on your brush to make sure that you don't have any concave polygons. It'll keep all of the different polygons that make up your final brush very simple, and that can be very important, which is why this is on by default. And finally, you have your extrude depth, which is how tall your brush is going to be. So knowing that, let's take a quick stab at drawing something here. I'm going to select the Red Builder brush, and then... While I'm in pen mode, I've actually got a little tiny white square that is, once again, chasing my cursor around very much as if we were using the brush clip modifier. But let me take my drag grid, and we'll pull that down to 32, just to make that nice and big and easy to see. Now, just like with brush clip, I can tap the space bar to drop down points. Each time I do, I get a little orange dashed rubber band line. And I can drop as many points as I want and we can make all sorts of interesting cool shapes. When I'm done, I can just close back or press enter, and that is going to create a brush based on that extrude depth that I set. So if I come down here to the perspective viewport, you can see the brush that I've created. In this case, you can also see the result of that create convex polygon setting because you see all these extra splits in here that are simplifying each one of the polygon faces so that they're all convex, meaning they don't fold back in on themselves in any way. So that is a really quick look at the pen tool. Let's do one more. Just one more just to demonstrate. This time I'm going to change my extrude depth to, say, 512. And we'll make something that's maybe a little more useful. So maybe if you need like a trapezoidal shaped room with an interesting angle. So slide this over. Now you can still navigate the view with this because it's waiting for spacebar to drop down the points which is very handy. And then we'll just close that back and now over here in perspective you can see the result of our drawing. So extruded to 512 high. So that's going to wrap things up for this quick demonstration of the pen modifier. Thanks a lot.